Hi guys and welcome back. Thank you for watching our review of the Gamdius Hermes mechanical keyboard. Um, I want to give you a moment to take a look at the Hera software that comes with the... Um, you have to download it from their site. It doesn't actually come in a CD in the package, but uh, either way that's easy enough. So once you get Hera installed, if you click here it takes you to this page and you've got a few options like setting up uh, what your language layout and your keyboard key maps are, are of course mine's all English and then you can pick like OSD settings uh, your colors as to how it's going to respond to you you can kinda watch it over here when I change and hit test you see the purple wording there or change it and now it's red profile testing you can see either way though so into the actual keyboard controls themselves we're gonna start with key assignments um, this is a pretty simple thing not that difficult to figure out what it does let's say for example you use the WASD cluster uh, for movement and you want to set maybe your Q and E or something like that up for a macro so you just pick the Q by clicking on it come down here and change where it says default um, then you can set it up for any of these basic functions you can either quick launch and that'll take you into programs uh, or a website or opening a folder anything like that you can set it up for the macros again um, you can set it up to just replace other keyboard keys um, for example maybe you want that to be your jump so you just make it a space bar or something like that whatever it is you need it to do it's it's pretty fully customizable there is a I, I want to say there's pretty much nothing you can't do um, you can even set it up you see Skype functions Windows functions media controls uh, you have all of that um, even call Hera which I'm honestly not a hundred percent sure what that does when you save it you'll see it goes through this little piece again the keyboard itself has built-in memory and so it will save that there so even if you unplug the keyboard and put it on a different computer that function is saved there for profile one so now for example let's say I open up a notepad just to type the Q button here and instead it closes Hera and opens it okay that's what it does so when it said call Hera I thought maybe it was actually gonna to try to make a phone call I hoped not though so that opens and closes the Hera program now um, obviously I don't want it to do that I want it to remain default but again you can set it up for any of your macros I have not created any macros yet oh I did actually but uh so let's show that real fast and then I'll save it open notepad back up again real fast just to show you when I press the Q button it'll go through a series it'll press one I think I set it up to wait a few seconds and then go two three four and then back to two or something like that and it yells out attack in the gameplay and uh, you see I'm not pressing any other buttons and it goes through it's all timed out so that you can time your attacks and I'll show you more of that here in a moment don't save uh, set that back for default and let's take a look at the macro management and macro creation uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this delete macro alright you can see you can create folders so that you will have uh, perhaps different games in different folders you know so that you don't get your macros confused depending on how many different kinds of games you play or things like that and you can set it up literally to do just about anything you want it to uh, I did complain I think it's a little bit busy and it's even a little bit hard to read sometimes uh, maybe maybe it's not for you but I think the font and just things like that are kinda odd but uh, you do have 10 profiles you do have you know full macro creation you can set up your speed and you can slow it down or speed it up right here you can insert delays in the form of milliseconds or seconds um, you can even affect the mouse tracking um, which I think actually only works on their mice this same Hera software does function for their mice other keyboards and their uh, 
audio equipment like headphones and things. So, but back to where we are on the Hermes keyboard. Creating a macro again is pretty simple. You can create a folder here and name it. I don't know. Game one, right? And then you click there. Just like normal, double click it. And then create a macro and you'll name it, let's say, World of Warcraft, right? Because everybody knows that game. Then you click that and you just press record and pretty much anything you do will be recorded and then you press stop and again then you can go back pretty simple and you see that we have from the time I pressed key one down to the time I let it up was 109 milliseconds let's say I don't want it to be that long let's say I want it to be almost nothing so we'll go 10 milliseconds and we'll insert that there I did it wrong or something oh well I lied actually it actually adds that to it I thought I could change it I should be able to change that ah no delay that's what I want ah, I have to record it that way so my apologies let's delete that we'll choose no delay and then we can add in the delays that we want as we go so create a macro name it wow press record and then press buttons and you can see every key press is recorded with no delay correct so then you can add in your 10 second delays well I think I'm not clicking it correctly Huh. Did I stop? Okay. There it goes. I didn't stop it the first time, so it was still trying to record the macro. My apologies. Uh, again, that's part of what I'm talking about. It's kind of busy, and it's actually it, it's a little bit difficult to hit the button sometimes. I don't know if you can see my mouse here. Sometimes it doesn't record my mouse cursor, but... uh. Either way, so you can see I added in the 10 millisecond delay now. I can add in another one here, you know, after every key press. You know, maybe you need to do that to make up for global cooldowns or something like that. I'm going to delete the macro. So macro creation isn't, you know, it isn't incredibly difficult, but it's not incredibly intuitive either. And again, I said that my only complaint about this keyboard was this software, but it's really not a big deal. I did obviously still give it a gold award. So moving on from macro management, keyboard luminance is pretty simple. Again, you can control that by pressing the function button and the eight button increases luminance and the two button on the number pad, the eight and two on the number pad, uh, the two decreases luminance. And you can see that scroll through. That's me pressing the buttons here and uh, but of course then you can also just select the ones you want from this page here um, assign sound and timer now this is kinda interesting you can set up like sound warnings and and timers for maybe if you attack something and you only want to spend so much time on it or if you want to just keep track of how long you play maybe you you only want to play for an hour that day and then you want to stop and take a break you have other things to do you know things like that uh, I mean really your limitations are your own you know I mean you're limited to your own imagination so let's set up oops let's set up one of these alarm sounds and I I actually kind of like this first alarm I think you guys will be able to hear it and I'll play it here So that's kind of cool, I guess. I mean, it almost seems a little bit odd, but I think once that was implemented uh, in a way that, that suits your needs, I think that could be a really nice thing for changing the game. You know what I mean? You can set that up for that button, and then now I'll save it. And now when I press Q... That, uh that sets off an alarm and I want to say 
maybe you can attach that to macros so that you know when you've used certain macros you can attach that uh, to a timer again you can set timers and stuff the alarm itself is just an alarm as soon as I press the button it plays and I really don't want it to do that every time anymore so I'm gonna set that back to uh, but so you can set the alarms and combine them with macros like for example if I went back up here to the key assignment and set one of those macros to that same Q button and now every time I use that ability it'll sound that alarm and I know that it's gone off um, and then again you have the timers here you can set the timer to run once and restarts every click or the timer to run once and double click to stop or you can set a continuous loop of timer and double click to stop and that's good for especially for uh, real-time strategy games and role-playing games and things like that where you have global cooldowns or you have spells which take you know for example 10 seconds to cool down so you use an ability and then your timer will pop up on your screen and you can see that when that ability is going to be ready to use again and uh, that's what that's for and again you can set the alarm also to uh, sound once that ability is ready to go. I'm guessing in the future or possibly it's only with the headphones I'm not a hundred percent sure you will be able to set you can see how I can access these buttons here but I cannot access the sound file edit so uh, in the future or maybe with only the headphones again I'm not sure I will be able to access the sound file edit and create my own sounds or create my own warnings my own alarms uh, either from little sound clips of other videos or or other maybe my own music or songs that I like or myself just announcing the ability uh, whatever it is and then you have timer settings and again you can create folders and I want to say this goes back to over here you can set it up because uh, that goes into that folder so your timer settings you can create you know one day one hour one minute all the way down to the seconds and you can set up the position on the screen where that'll show up you can create you know you change your font size uh, anything like that and either way apparently I have to actually start creating it you can create the folder you can rename the folder delete the folder you can create a timer and maybe just make it stop because you need to stop playing at that point um, again set it up with an alarm sound did I pick an alarm I didn't pick one. Oh, here we go select a record sound so I'll use that same alarm and then set it up for there you go five seconds alright oh it's off the screen but uh, in the top right hand corner I had a five second countdown and again you can change the font size and uh, that's actually pretty neat maybe I can stretch this over here and show you guys but uh, there it is now you can see it so that's what that's what the timer is going to be able to do and, and that's I think that's a pretty good thing for especially for serious competitive gaming and that's what I'm talking about um, but I want to move right on we are actually starting to take a little longer in here than I meant to. I'm up to 15 minutes talking to you guys. Here's the last thing I want to show you guys. Uh, this keyboard keeps track of every button press. You can see I've pressed each individual button all a total of 17,846 times. Um, and I've pressed the normal keys, just your standard layout keys, 17,820 times and the Hermes keys 26 times so that's using the function buttons and the, you know the changing profiles and changing the lighting and things like that uh, if you can see that's what that is it changes 24 as I change through the lighting um, oops either way though so that's what that does you can reset that and I don't really want to but you can reset that but it still keeps a total running tally um, you can designate certain keys you can change the Hermes keys you can set it to or I mean you can change it to only record Hermes keys or designate which keys you want it to record 
you can see this line graph here with the color codes the light green is a thousand up through dark blue is three thousand so you can see I run forward with my W button and then sidestep pretty secondary uh, I've been playing a game that uses those functions and then jumping and uh, things like that the point is using that you can keep track of all of the abilities that you use most often and how you do it and again this is what the Gamdia software calls the muscle memory and uh, it'll keep track all the way through 5,000, 500,000 or I guess this is the 50 million I'm not sure what KK I think that's the full 50 million life cycle of the mechanical keys um, and that's a pretty neat thing I think to be able to keep track of what buttons you use and when um, the Olympics is not ready and then of course you can just update your software here I've already checked I don't have any new versions but uh, either way so that's what everything on the Gamdius Hermes keyboard and that's a nice little overview a good bit of time taking a good look at the software that comes with the Hermes the Hera software so I appreciate you guys watching Thank you, and uh, remember to come join us on our forums and everything, and watch all of our other reviews.